Hello, I'm Paul Hand, and greetings, badminton fans, to finals day of the Hilo Open from the Saarlandhalle Saarbrücken in southwest Germany. Who will make one more push for the spoils? The titles are within touching distance now. This is the last World Tour Super 500 event of the season. Marks the end of a six week European swing. Following this, we head on to the Indonesian trio of tournaments. Here's our Order of play on finals day to get us underway. A surprise all seeded Japanese women's doubles final featuring Hoshi and Matsuda in a first meeting with compatriots Iwanaga and Nakanishi. Then it's experienced against youth in an all Indonesian men's doubles final, highlighted by the world number one pair of Gideon and Sukumulyo in a first meeting with the uh, world junior champions Carnando and Martin. In the women's singles final, can the fifth seed from Thailand, world number 14, Busan Omban Runfan, today avenge defeat to Singaporean Yoja Min two years ago in their only previous encounter. It's chapter 10 in the mixed doubles final. The Thai world number three pairing of Poivron Ukro and Tera Tanachai lead 5 4 head to head against the Indonesians Jordan and Octavianti. Expect plenty of entertaining rallies in that one between the top two seeds in that category. Then we have the enticing top 40 men's singles final to round out our finals coverage. The Singaporean Lu Kian Yu, who's down three top 25 players en route. Can he repeat that French Open first round victory from 11 days ago over the world number eight Malaysian Li Zizia? What about that for a popcorn encounter? Who will stand above the rest to claim these titles? HS. BC BWF World Tour Finals plaque being brought out by our kind volunteers Pia Molder and Bjorn Whooping. That's what the players are gunning for to qualify for the year end uh, tournament. And a generous chunk of that total prize fund of 850,000 US dollars. Here is a total prize pot of 320 US dollars, thousand US dollars, I should say. And uh, there's the draw, the women's doubles draw, an all unseeded, all Japanese final takes center stage first between Hoshi and Matsuda against Iwanaga and Nakanishi. Familiar faces, probably practice partners back home. Played today for the pecking order here. And uh, here they are the current leaders in the HSBC Race to Bali rankings throughout the calendar year who have played the best in World Tour events, rewarded for Consistency, effort, and application. You can see the ties at the top there, followed by the Bulgarian Stoiber sisters who lost early here, as did Magdalene and uh, Raven. A couple of uh, Danish pairs. So that's how the land lies then in the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals race. And here come our players. Chisato Hoshi and Oi Matsuda, two 25-year-old Japanese. Rin Iwanaga, Ki Nakanishi, 22 and 25-year-olds respectively. Fresh from winning the Belgium International in Leuven last week. They've won four matches here, four matches there in Leuven. They can do no wrong right now. Rin and Ki, our officials. Tense moments, these for the players. You never really quite know what you're going to get until you step on stage and start playing live. Okay, ladies, black or red? Red, black for you, okay. You would say? Okay. This one? This one, okay. Okay, so Chisato Hoshi electing to serve. And Nakanishi will receive but they want the other end. It's been pretty boisterous around here, early doors. We got in early, a couple of hours or so before play starts, and uh, these guys were having quite a ball. 
being entertained by the mascot dancing around to the tunes. It's electric on finals day here in Saarbrücken for the Hilo Open titles at stake. Cisato Hoshi. One meter sixty three from Hakusan. Has been up to a twenty seven in the world. Another, another partner. Oi Matsuda. Same age. A little bit shorter. And has been just uh, six spots higher as well. So experienced athletes, these two. This is their route through, and they uh, saved a couple of match points in game two yesterday to the top seeds, Kitty Hadakun and Prajongjai. We called that match. It was very, very entertaining. But they're through, they're here, and all that's by the by. Their opponents today are in Iwanaga, the youngest on court by three years or so. And Ki Nakanishi, three 25-year-olds, one 22-year-old from Kanagawa. Their route Ready through, unblemished. Look at that. Played really well yesterday against Ramadanti and Sugiato. Straight game win, long one though. Had to work very, very hard, but as I say, yet to uh, concede a game here. So, really informed them, the team in blue. Christoph Osseborg from Germany. And the French service judge just opposite. Veronique Bertin. My name's Paul Hand, great to have your company. I'm alongside Steen Pedersen, and we're all that geared up and ready. Looking forward to this one, Steen. Yeah. They're just so strong. The Japanese women's doubles combinations. Yeah, so five terrific finals lined up for you. First off, this women's doubles, then the men's doubles, women's singles next, mixed doubles, and then the men's singles final as the fifth and deciding match. I wonder how familiar these guys are with each other. They probably practice well together. Similar venue, Steve. Yeah. So. The spotlight shines Ladies bright. and gentlemen, who will it be then? On my right, to walk off with Isato the Hoshi title here. And Aoi Matsuda, it's all Japanese Japan. clash. And on my left, Rin Iwanaga and Ki Nakanishi, Japan. Isato Hoshi to serve to Kim Nakanishi. Bravo. Play. I One asked uh, Paul Love. whether they will be familiar with each other, and I can tell you they will definitely be familiar with each other. They had not um, played any international encounters against each other, no head-to-head -head results uh, on international level, but uh, these two pairings, they practice together 
virtually every single day because they're from the same company team in uh, Japan. And uh, left-hander here in uh, blue, Ki Nakanishi. She's won two tournaments with uh, Chisato Hoshi on the uh, opposite side of the uh, net. So uh, they definitely know each other inside out. Always makes for a good match normally, doesn't it? Because, you know, they kind of understand each other's strengths and weaknesses, patterns of play. And, you know, we mentioned earlier the shuttle's slightly slower and, well, should sometimes, be some rallies. Sometimes Service it's over. rather um, One, two. error prone matches because, as you say, they know each other's playing style. They know um, what they need to do. And sometimes they can do it, sometimes they can't. And then points uh, run out. Um, uh, really early, so um, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of uh, matches with uh, training partners that are not very good. Um, so let's hope uh, this is uh, oh. so one of over. the uh, ones that become really, really good where it's a tough fight. Three, one. Yeah, we want their A game simultaneously, don't we? That's what we're all looking forward to. And of course, sometimes it doesn't quite go to the script. A bit like boxing when they say when you're boxing Mike Tyson or somebody like that. Just it's all great. By the script until you get punched in the face. <laughs> All goes out the window. Yeah. Let's Two, wait and see. Three. All four playing in the same team as uh, former Olympic gold medalist uh, Misaki Matsutomo and previously Ayaka Takahashi before she uh, retired. So, of course, um, looking for new players to support this, uh, the company. So many good uh, women's doubles role models in Japan, aren't there, as you just mentioned, yeah. Inspiration back home all the time. who joined um, the company team in uh, 2019, I think. That might have um, sort of uh, oh. provoked the uh, oh. split of Nakanishi and Hoshi. So created uh, two new pairings uh, in the 2019 season. And uh, uh, Iwanaka and uh, Nakanishi, they've been quite successful. Already won three international tournaments. So it's over. Three, yeah, I four. saw that Hoshi and Matsuda did play that Belgian international that their opponents today won, but I don't think they met along the way, did they? They lost round of 16, Hoshi and Matsuda, in the same event. So it's over. Five, three. Well, pretty aggressive early intent from these two. Six, three. A familiar look, isn't it? Incidentally, they're staying at the same hotel as Esteen, Seven, aren't they? Did you notice them three. sitting at different tables at breakfast this morning? Certainly friendships cast aside momentarily here. I wonder how they all get on. I think they had breakfast way before us, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've been out practicing a little bit. That is a good learning experience for Eight, the three. pairs who's lost to these two pairs here to uh, to watch 
them play familiar opponents because if any they should know which buttons to push to uh, score points so losing so semi-final is they can um, they can learn a lot from watching this eight. match probably also some um, tension on court because um, this is going to be a big win for one of these two pairs here, a super 500 level. Five, eight. And we had a couple of years ago, we had a very dominating Japanese pair in the uh, super 100 and super 300 tournaments. Uh, Takahata and uh, Sakuramoto. They're still playing. They've just um, managed to get into the A-team to that be allowed over. to play stronger Nine, tournaments. Five. So presumably now these guys, this is a massive vault up for all these four players, isn't it? Having spent a lot of time at international challenge level, suddenly now they're up at World Tour 500 level. Do you think now they'll get the passport up to these kind of level of tournaments on a fairly regular basis, given that their rankings are steadily improving as well? If, if the Japanese system holds true the way it's done, then it's going to be decided after the World Championships, where there's the All Japan so Championships, over. where the coaches Six, and the selection committee nine selects four pairs that are going to represent Japan in the biggest tournaments and sort of um, form the A team and then a B team that's representing Japan in the smaller tournaments. So that's not a given thing that, they, that we're going to see them play the Super 750s and Super 1000s, but we are going to see them in the Bali Badminton Festival. Seven, nine. There's a lot of injuries in the uh, um, regular pairings in the Japanese women's doubles team at the moment, so um, chances begin to these two pairs, amongst others, also uh, Sakuramoto and Takahata are going to be there. Yeah, I guess you earn your stripes, don't you? And presumably if they're knocking Eight, on the door to get out of nine. the B team on a regular basis, then they'll, they'll vault up through and, and probably presumably uh, drop somebody back down from the A team. But of course it all unravels over the course of the calendar year with their results. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's tough information. Sakuramoto is going to play with Mayo Matsumoto, the uh, double world champion, mm. whose partner Nagahara is uh, injured. So it's over. So, Ten, uh, no, eight. No Takahata at the uh, Bali Badminton Festival. It's over. Nine, ten. So it's over. No, despite a little uh, 11, resurgent 9, look from Iwanaga and Nakanishi, it's Hoshi and Matsuda who head to the mid-game interval with a two-point lead. 11-9 after nine minutes of action out here on show court one. Finals day. What a moment. Young yeah, And respectfully, not a coach in sight. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Steen, you mentioned sort of uh, the transition of sort of defence to attack, how it was an interesting phase in women's doubles right now. Anything that you're gleaning here? No. Not yet too early? I, I, I think, yeah, I think yeah, it's from now on it gets interesting when they've sort of... Uh, Played themselves into the final. I feel uh, Chisato Hoshi, she's been very active at the uh, 11, front court. 9. Uh, getting a little help 
the pair in um, orange and white playing with the drift here in um, Saarland Halle. There's not a whole lot of drift, but um, a slight one from the near side towards the so far side over. of the court. Ben, 11. It's over. It's fascinating, well, isn't it, watching the non-hitting player, how active they are in their movements, particularly yeah. the net player as well, in terms of court positioning and sort of yeah. you know, yep. nervous energy. Well, she's moving out, so there's a chance for um, Masuda to um, come forward if the chance occurs. So it's over. Yeah, the way that they rotate, there's such fluidity in both teams. Yeah. Eleven. Well, it's interesting that um, both pairs have got an invite for the World Championship in uh, December. Far down the uh, lists. I'll qualify 65 and uh, 72, but uh, due to all the injuries, there's been so many Japanese players well, ahead of them oh. that um, could not participate. So they've been um, invited. Buttons in Japan has already accepted the invitation for Great. Upgrade. Nakanishi and um, Iwanaga and Hoshi and... Uh, Masuda has also been invited, so there's a good chance we'll see all four in uh, Huelva later on this year. Yeah, that'll be good to see how they go. Well, the team in blue did very, very well there because they were hauled back to neutral by some terrific defence from their opponents and suddenly managed to keep on the front foot 13, and put the point to bed. 12. <laughs> All smiles, they're pleased with that. Breaking to the front in the match for the first time. Iwanaga and Nakanishi. Service over Not for long. Thirteen all. That's exactly what you were talking about yesterday when, you know, Matsuda goes on the attack, aggressive hard strike from her, and suddenly it's deflected back to the other corner. Here 14, we go. I think it's around 13. here. There we go. Yeah. Flat hard drive, boom. And then they're uh, on the defense. Yeah. Yeah, so it's fascinating. All the time, even though the, the rallies sometimes get a little bit longer, there's still this uh, in real time decision making whether. It's actually an attacking uh, opportunity, or you'd rather play it a little bit more safe. There we see it again, counter-attacking from um, Iwanaga. It's really quick on her feet. All 15, Japanese women's doubles 13. are pretty much quick on their feet, but, uh, but she has a certain spring in her step, in my opinion. Is there with red um, shoes? Yeah. Mm, yeah. The right hand of the, the Japanese pair in blue here. Yeah, she's, she's in electric, electric, hasn't she? Now, she was at breakfast. I do recognize her face. 
her partner had her hair down, so less uh, distinct. She emptied the fruit bowl before I could get there. There was a fruit bowl. out there once. Not an issue to come forward. She missed that one. Suddenly overpressing, aren't they, Hoshi and Matsuda? Yeah, but it's also they're, they're not the tallest 16, of players. 13. So um, not a lot of angle to uh, work with there. It's over 14 16. Hey. One inch higher than uh, Yamaguchi, Akane Yamaguchi, the women's singles player, is uh, Matsuda. So that makes her five foot four, am I right? No, no, five foot two. Oh, wow. It's a little bit more difficult to lift with accuracy from uh, this near side of the court. 17, Get 14. a little bit of help in the um, attack, though. So the Belgium international champions edging ahead here. Never been down 10-11 at the mid-game interval. They've uh, come out that little bit stronger over the last few minutes. Oh, that's well played. Extremely well played by uh, Nakanishi. Got a lot of angle on uh, one of the shots there. Just flip 18, the racket. 14. And let's take a look at that service of uh, Nakanishi. That reminds me of something. What, the quirky way that she sets up? Or yeah, no, the, 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 the service motion. And like she's sort of like uh, uh, the slicing below the shuttle or digging down under it. And that reminds me of um, a former Korean great. That was before your time in badminton, Paul. That was when you were running around playing a, a minor racket sport, a different racket sport there. That was uh, Moon Soo Kim, the former Olympic and world champion who was partnering Park Jubon, who's now the head coach so of the over. Japanese team. It's very similar to his serve. Uh, uh, the one that um, Kina Kanishi 15, is um, serving. What with what she does with her racket head, is that? Yeah, sort of uh, digging down yeah. under the shuttle when uh, launching it. I think she might have modeled it around that person or just sort of stumbled across it herself. Yeah, I think she might have stumbled across it. <laughs> so it's over. Well, there's 19, some energy in that little squeal 15. of delight, wasn't there? Realizing the uh, importance of the moment. 
and it's been difficult for Hoshi and Matsuda to score on uh, these two here. Fantastic wow. reaction so there. It's over. <laughs> Just as I thought the other team were better at sort of turning defence into attack. Take a look at this. 16, 19. Reflexive brilliance. Team in blue smiling as if to say she won't be able to do that again. Yeah, exactly. And I think <laughs> you'll be surprised. It seemed like a reflex that she was just defending the body. Well, it's over. 20, game point, 16. Four of them. Well, it's over. 17. Game points have 18, been saved. This is encouraging 20. for Hoshi and Matsuda. But still two more game points for the Belgian international tight lists in blue. So it is uh, another game point save. Yeah. 1920. Kizato Hoshi, who started so well in the game, suddenly coming good at the back end as well with a hat trick of consecutive points. Wait. Doesn't want to squander this last opportunity. Taking your time. <laughs> Found it right on the line, playing with fire, dicing with death, but she finds the paint, hauls the game back to Deuce. Four straight points then. 20 for Hoshi and Matsuda. Fist bumping in delight, back to Deuce. Great energy from these two. Twenty one, twenty. Been nerveless, haven't they? I think so. Now then, look at the team in blue. How will they respond to the loss of five points in a row? It 
It's gone wide in the end. Ben. Wow. Six consecutive points to snatch the First game. First game won by Chisato so, Hoshi, Hoshi and, and Oi Aoi Matsuda. Matsuda. 20. Wow, that is quite a turnaround and a real tonic for them and a massive breakthrough in this first women's doubles final going to Hoshi and Matsuda. 22-20 that opening game after 26 minutes of compelling action. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, the team in blue still smiling, but that'll feel like a blow to the solar plexus, having had four game point opportunities. Nakanishi and Iwanaga, they were denied that opening game from some real late inspiration by Hoshi and Matsuda. How will Same they game. respond now? Love all. Play. Yeah, that's really interesting. I, I think they. Um, they looked like they were the better pair for the uh, second half of that um, first game, except for the six so last rallies where uh, they, it, they totally fell apart. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they, I think they've been um, a bit tensed uh, about the prospect of winning the first game here. So I feel that they have a chance of, um, of coming back here if they can uh, get their heads together quickly. Mm -hmm. Love. Like you say, they kind of took ownership of the second half of the game, didn't they? They were really fluent and fluid. And then maybe a little bit of late sort of nerves as the sort of scent of the opening game win got into their nostrils with that service error. Service over. I'll tell you what, though, I've been really impressed with uh, Hoshi in particular. One, She's been two. particularly sort of um, nerveless and pioneering almost very very bold and I don't know brave out here She's got that look in her eye yeah also the more experienced of the two players in uh, white and orange so it's over three one A month ago, just about the same age as uh, Nakanishi. Service over. Thank you. High quality women's doubles on display here. Not a lot between these two teams. They're both playing really two, well. Three. Bodes well for the future, Steen, doesn't it? What were the injuries yeah. at the top of the game for these sort of 18 players, if you will? 
Maybe there's room for another pairing. Just to sort of sneak right up there in the rankings. Is it three Japanese top ten pairs at the moment? Yeah, and, and who knows how many pairs they would be able to get into three. at least top 15 oh. if um, if they played um, the biggest tournaments on a regular basis. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of a... Um, Restriction on that, or yeah, there there is like um, it's, it's the Japanese association saying, okay, we don't send more than four to the biggest tournaments. Now, what if Hoshi they did? challenges? Calls. I think pretty much they would be able to, um, uh, to earn enough uh, prize money to uh, to pay for themselves. So it really is Japan, China, and, and Korea that are the um, strong nations in women's doubles. I feel Indonesia on the back of the uh, gold medal. That was uh, quite a bit out. Correction, out. On the back of the gold medal to um, Poli and Four, Rahaya, three. we've seen Sugiato and um, uh, Ramadanti uh, play Wait. well. So they could, um, they could challenge, but I think it's worrying for Thailand that they have had uh, all their best women's doubles in this tournament, and yet it's an all Japanese affair. Service <laughs> over. Four. All. So it's over. Five, four. I wonder what they're laughing at. Do you think they're laughing at the bark, the reaction from Chizato Hoshi at the end of that previous point? She looks pretty into it, doesn't she? Really intense. And long. Six, four. placement there, Service switch over. from uh, the right side of uh, Matsuda to the left side. That is That one was fantastic. Always trying to challenge your opponent to see if they can switch sides quickly Five, enough. Six. It's over. Seven, five. So it's over. There's a Six, lot of um, seven. tape on that left shoulder. Nakanishi. Perhaps aggravated by the slower shuttles here in Sabulkan. I think that's part of it. But um, there's also 
Oi, oi, oi. That's on the blue carpet there. Was it the string bed? Seven. No. no. Oh. I, think, I think it was just an odd body position. Yeah. Always go change your racket after a shot like that. Um, I think also we, we have to realize that it's perhaps not the matches that are the toughest on these players. It's the practice where they, they practice even harder. So it's over. And um, there's been a lockdown in Japan as well, so um, it's not certain that Eight, they've been able to maintain seven. their practice level. And if you go down and then suddenly start up again and you want to push it a little bit, you, you're going to Europe, you're playing tournaments for the first time in, um, in basically one and a half year. And you want to do well, so, uh, so you really try to push um, the hours in the, um, so the practice so hall. Yeah, and cooler that, conditions uh, as well, right? Slower shuttles, cooler yeah. conditions. Yeah. So it all takes Eight. its toll on, um, oh. especially the upper body. It's interesting. Uh, I sometimes get the question from um, people that doesn't follow badminton so much and say, why, why aren't they playing singles? Or why are the singles players not playing doubles? Because the demands for each category is totally different. You really want to be strong in your shoulders and upper body as a doubles player, but uh, that's not necessarily as a singles player. You really want to be strong in your legs, be able to lunge and quickly recover. Because you have to cover all the court yourself. Nine, so eight. Basically, it's uh, different statues for singles and doubles players. It's different sports, aren't they, in a yeah. way? Yeah. Completely different arts on the body. Mindset. So it's over. Good body jam Nine. smash. Oh. So it's over. Ten, nine. So it's over. Ten, all. So no, this time, 11, a slight change 10, in look. It's 11-10 that uh, the team in blue head to the mid-game interval with a lead. All smiles. They look like they still believe. Such a close women's doubles final, isn't it? Still so very difficult to call. And really the best six points of the match that the team in orange and white had played was at the back end of that opening game. Yeah, and worse. Yeah. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven, ten. Play. So 
Jeremy Silva. Did you hear the reaction there from Tisato Hoshi? Desperate squeal. So her partner gets this one down with authority. Look at that reaction, top right. She is so invested. Good leave. Yeah. Mm. It's over. 12, 11. Thirteen. Eleven. Oh, hesitation. Fourteen. She was going to 11. leave it uh, not sooner. It's over. 12, 14. It's gone long. It's over. 15, 12. I think you and I go and uh, Makanishi, they're aware that it's good for them if it's Hoshi who's working on the back court. Masuda not as uh, dangerous as a partner on the front court, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant. Really, really good from Iwanaga there. 16, 12. Thought the point was lost at this stage with the bossy play and the team in orange and white, but look at that. Again, another of those amazing points in defence. Yeah, it's one of the situations where you, as a white and orange player, hope that you can put it away at the net. Seventeen, twelve. Just at the horse looking that little bit more assured. Now it's over. Thirteen, seventeen. Oh, lovely. A little deceptive uh, move there from Matsuda. Yeah, that was really well played. 14, 17. Sort of lent her body one way and sent the racket head the other. Really awkward looking, but very tough to read. It's gone long. Well, they're about to squander 15, yet another big lead. 17. Yeah. 
They've been Houdini esque, haven't they, with their escapology today, these two? 2016 down in that opening game, swung it around to win it. Yeah, it's found the corner. You know. Oh, hang on. It's yeah, been called out. What do you think, Steve? That was really close, out. wasn't it? I, I think it was in. in. Yeah. yeah. I think it came as a little bit of a surprise to yeah. our lines yeah. one there. And maybe it just skidded across the line and sort of unnerved her a little, the lines, Jaja. Yeah. But maybe, uh, maybe she was right. It's difficult when they slide over the lines. Yeah, it oh. did. A slider. Right inside the corner, Hoshi will be pleased with that. Correction, in. Yeah, it's not an easy jump. 16, 17. These long smashes. Right. So it's over. An important uh, point to score 18, after the recent 16. flurry for their opponents for the team in blue. Ah! But, um, they, they are really uh, tensed, no doubt about it. 17, 18. And that's the chance for Hoshi and uh, Matsuda. I feel yeah, these in two. regular play, the pair in blue, Ivanaga and Nakanishi are the better pair, but um, I'm not sure they have the nerves. Yeah. yeah. Well played. Yeah, the mental skills at the moment. Belonging to Tsushato. Tsushato Hoshi yeah. and uh, Oi Matsuda. <coughs> Terrific finish to that point. Just bulldozing through the only left hander on court. Matsuda straight down between the two opponents. 19 18. Seven of the last eight points to uh, Matsuda and Hoshi. Squeals of delight from Hoshi and Matsuda. It means so much. Bragging rights in this all Japanese women's doubles final. 20 match point. It's been 18. so intriguing from the off. Two match points for Hoshi and Matsuda. World number 68, Chisato Hoshi and Oe Matsuda win the title of the High Low Open Women's Doubles.
and they're absolutely delighted with their efforts, and so they should be. It was a performance of mental steel, particularly from Chisato Hoshi, who just kept her team really robust and together. Matsuda then followed sweet with some terrific badminton of her own, but when they were 16 20 down in that opening game and stole it somehow. You sensed it was Match written in the stars. Match won by Shisato Hoshi and Ayo Matsuda, 22-20, that 21-18. 22-20, 21-18. After 51 minutes of compelling action. And this is how they put it to bed, Steen. Yeah, but, but look at the miss here from uh, Nakanishi. I mean, it was aimed at the cameraman there in the corner. Wow. So yeah. the spoils belonging to Chisato Hoshi and Oi Matsuda then. 51 minute match win. A really intriguing start to final Sunday and we've still got another four finals for you. So the world number 68s from Japan coming through in that all Japanese clash. We were treated there. Really good match to watch. Don't go too far. It's going to be a men's doubles final up next. Gideon and Sukumulio take on Carnando and Martin.
25,000 US dollars for the winners. And a well earned title today. Didn't they play well? Chisato Hoshi and Aoi Matsuda. It's a massive tournament title for them. Real step up. Their first ever World Tour Super 500 level event. All Japanese final it was. These two coming out on top. Masks off for the photos. Proud moment for Hoshi and Matsuda. Well, the team in blue will be left uh, feeling what might have been having had four game points in that opening game, but in the end, the day belonged to Chisato Hoshi and Aoi Matsuda coming through just uh, nine minutes shy of the hour mark in a straight game, tight straight game affair. This is what we'll be bringing you up next. Gideon and Sukumulio against Carnando and Martin in an all Indonesian men's doubles final. Don't go too far. Well, what a women's doubles final that was that we just brought you, but we've plenty more in store. An all Indonesian men's doubles title decider to be decided. Marcus Filnaldi, Gideon, and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulio take on uh, Leo Roli Karnan.